Close your eyes, watch your breath. The breath is always there. The problem is we're not always there. We're off someplace else. Then we come back, then we go off again, come back again. We're like a child who runs around outside, comes in, grabs a sandwich, and then goes out running around again. And when you treat the breath this way, nothing much happens. But if you decide you're going to stay here, settle in, really get to know the place, then you make a big difference in the mind. And that's why we're practicing, so we want to make a difference. As the Buddha points out, our normal way of acting leads to suffering. The things we crave, the things we cling to, in other words, the things we like and we do over and over and over again. Those, he says, are the things that are making us suffer, and yet those are the things we like. So we have to make a difference. Step back from our likes and dislikes. Put the mind in a place where it can see things more clearly. That's why we stay with the breath in the present moment, because that way you get to see the motions of the mind as they're happening. And you begin to see what's going in a good direction, what's going in a bad direction. And you realize you have the choice not to go if it's a bad direction. And even if it's a good direction, you say, is this the right time and place? Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. You have to learn how to develop your powers of discernment. There are so many meditation methods out there that say well, just do one thing, just note, just note, or just scan, scan, scan. But the Buddha was not a one-note kind of person. He thought that the practice of the mind requires that you develop lots of different qualities. That's why he has so many lists. You can bring them into balance. And that requires that you use your powers of observation. You test things and observe. Test things again, observe again. And over time, the skill becomes yours. So try to really get to know this spot here in the present moment. Settle in. Make this your home. Make this your default mode. If you're going to leave this place, know that you have a good reason for it. Otherwise, you want to stay right here so you can see things as they're happening and take care of them while they're happening. That way you really can make a difference in the mind. The Four Noble Truths teach us there's a way of practicing that leads to suffering. There's another way of practicing that leads to the end of suffering. The choice is ours. It really is a difference. Years back, someone was commenting on a passage in the canon that said, "When well, the Buddha says, I teach one thing and one thing only, suffering and the end of suffering. And this person was saying, oh, that's interesting that the suffering and the end of suffering are the same thing. But actually it's a misquote. The Buddha didn't say one thing and one thing only. He said, all I teach is suffering and the end of suffering. Those are two things, and they really are different. Now the question is, are you going to make a difference in your own mind?